hello everyone welcome to my unreal engine tutorial series on how to create an open world game so today what i am going to show you is uh, when this enemy character see us i'm going to make him look onto us so that means when he saw us he's going to keep looking at us even when we rotate around him so as you can see here he's locked onto us and that means he's going to keep looking at us no matter what and that's what i'm going to show you today all right let's get started first i'll open my character blueprint the main parent character blueprint which is this ch human and here i'll close them first okay so here i'm gonna need a function to lock onto enemy character so where should i implement it so we already have this character interface bpi character interface implemented in this character and here i am going to add another function i am going to define another function called lock on and as the input i am going to put an actor so the reason to do this with an interface is so that i can call this lock on function from any of the AI blueprints without having to have a solid concrete reference to this CH human uh, blueprint I'll name it as the locked enemy right now uh, I'll put this in under fight okay uh, compile it and now in in my ch human character I'll implement that function so I'll do it here first I'll collapse these no, I'll just leave them for now like this. It's not critical for the moment. Okay. So I'll implement that log on event like this. And I'll promote this to a variable I'll name it as the locked enemy right then I'll this should also go inside here and also I need to have another variable another boolean variable to control or to define the status of the lock status so I'll name it as the lock on right now I'll add this one as well and one more thing so I need to be able to lock on and disable locking or lock off maybe so if I am locked on I should be this character should be looking at the enemy character even if it is moving and if it is lo not locked on he should not be looking at the character enemy character so therefore I need another way input here as well and I'll call it enable 
Colloc Log on Off As a Boolean Right And actually I can do that without this variable as well So let's say no, let's leave this it leave it like this for now. Okay. So I'll add a branch here and I'll collapse this first. Log on and add a comment as well. Log on off and I'll put it I can right I'll put it next to the attack right and here so I should be able to lock on only if this uh, lock enemy variable is valid that means if it is only if it is not null so I should check that here and and in order to lock off all I have to do is make this one into false right so just doing this just only doing this wouldn't make our character lock on to the enemy so we have to do some other things as well first I have to set this one this uh, orient there is some variable which says here under rotation settings in the character movement character movement rotation here so this variable says orient rotation to movement so if I leave it in leave this enabled then this character will try to move uh, try to rotate to the direction that he is walking or moving so I have to disable this before locking into the enemy character so I need a reference here of this and set orient rotation to movement false then only I can look at I can keep looking at the enemy character while I move to another direction so in here when I am not locked onto the enemy character I should enable this one right and also so still this is not complete I have to make this character look at the enemy character always if I do, if I have to do something always then I should define it somewhere in some place that would be called always so the best place is the event tick so actually we may not need to call this in each frame that would be not the best thing in terms of optimization but but for now let's just put it here and let's uh, deal with this later if that is a problem right let's solve one thing at a time and a branch and locked on and I'll add a reroute node here and connect this one here as well 
and I'll collapse this one. I really like to keep my code or blueprints clean. That's why I always do this. Lock on and right. Okay. And I don't really need this else part. So I'll connect to the same pin and remove this. So here, right. And the next thing is I need to check if this is still valid because sometimes if this character is dead or something then I will have a null reference error. So it is always better to check if this is valid before using that variable. Right, so if this is valid then I need to find the direction towards this character. So I can use find look at rotation like this with this and as the start location I'm gonna use get actor location and if the target is self that means this one is going to return the current location of this character and that is going to be the start location of this find look at location rotation function input and this target should define where should this character look what is the target location so the target location should be the enemy characters location I can get it like this and as the this one I'm gonna plug it here right so now this is the this is the rotation that our character or this ch human character should have in order to make it look at the enemy rotation enemy character so i'll split this and i'm gonna put only the yo part because i don't need this character to rotate around this uh, his X axis so Y axis so if it rotates around X axis it would be like this this can happen if the enemy character is on a on a hill or on a downside so I need only this rotation so therefore I'm gonna use only this one and so I have I can use set act rotation and self again the target is self that means this character and as the I'll split this one as well and as the yo I'm gonna put this one and as this two actually I don't need to change them they should be as they are so therefore what I'm gonna do is get act uh, rotation and this one returns the current rotation of the actor or this character so I'm gonna put the same thing here and here right so before so how do we where should we call this lock on method that should be called from our AI of this enemy character and where is the AI here AI human I'll open this one and and here when this character right so this is 
where this character detect the enemy and when he detects the enemy I'm gonna make this enemy character lock into that enemy so I can do that I'll do it uh, and this is actually the hearing part I'll collapse this one hearing and add a comment hearing and I'm gonna do it in here under the sight sensing so when this character see the enemy character is going to lock into that enemy character right this is the character blueprint reference and I'm gonna lock on like this and as the target I'm going to put the enemy right let's see if this works okay now okay, let's try from this side okay now this enemy character haven't seen us and as I move here right okay now he saw us and he is rotating to our side our direction even when I am trying to go around him so yeah and now he is locked onto us and he's not moving or anything just for now only looking at us and he's actually like sliding on the floor and rotating to us there are no footwork here but we can fix them later and for today that's all all right so in the future videos we will refine these behaviors Okay, see you in the next video. Goodbye.